Mr. Speaker, I, I rise, and it's an honor for me to rise this evening, in support of H.R. 6033, legislation, as uh, duly noted by my friend Mr. Davis, to designate the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 39-25 61st Street in Woodside, New York, as the Thomas J. Manton Office Building. I want to first extend my sincere thanks and gratitude to Chairman Tom Davis uh, for his expediting uh, this legislation to the floor. Uh, as was mentioned, uh, Tom Manton died only recently, at the end of July, and to, to have this bill on the floor as quickly as we have uh, had, uh, I owe a great deal of debt uh, to Tom, and thank you, Mr. Davis, for your, for your work on this. I also want to thank uh, the ranking member, uh, Mr. Waxman, Henry Waxman, again, a gentleman who saw fit to move this legislation quickly. Uh, Majority Leader uh, John Boehner as well, and his office, uh, in particular, I want to thank Denise Wilson, of the government reform staff as well for her uh, helping moving this forward. I want to thank our leader Nancy Pelosi and Chairman Barton and Ranking Member John Dingell uh, for their help in moving this bill expeditiously to the floor. Uh, I also want to thank all my colleagues from New York who unanimously supported this renaming. Uh, but particularly, I want to thank the Dean of our delegation from Long Island and Queens County, uh, Rep. Gary Ackerman, uh, as well as uh, Carolyn Maloney, Nidhi Velasquez, uh, Greg Meeks, uh, Anthony Weiner, and uh, of course, uh, we can't forget uh, uh, our, our, the, the Dean of the New York delegation, Charlie Rangel. But all New Yorkers uh, were supportive, both Democrat and Republican, uh, without cause. Uh, Nita Lowy, for all of uh, for her work and for all their friendship with Tom Manton and their kind words back in July when this House recognized his passing. Uh, I appreciate that. My constituents uh, certainly uh, appreciate that as well. And I know that the Manton family, in particular Diane Manton, is very appreciative of the honor that we bestow upon her late great husband, former Congressman Tom Manton. Many of my colleagues in Congress are familiar with the exemplary service of former Congressman Tom Manton because you served with him. But uh, for those who don't recall, he served with honor and distinction in the United States House of Representatives in 1999. He had replaced uh, the then legendary former Congresswoman Geraldine Ferraro. Uh, but before that, Tom Manton uh, came from humble Irish American roots. Uh, he uh, loved his country, America, and certainly loved his ancestral homeland of Ireland as well. And that was reflective in the community he grew up in. Woodside, New York uh, was and still remains a community that has an Irish flavor to it. Tom Manton served the city of New York uh, first as a member of the New York City Police Department. He had worked for a time for IBM and there had been some uh, discussion at one time that he sold computers for IBM. Let me just make it perfectly clear. When Tom Manton worked for IBM, computers were bigger than this room. He did not sell computers for IBM. I think it was that he sold typewriters for IBM. It's important to make that distinction. Uh, but after that, he had gone to law school at St. John's and had graduated uh, and ran for the New York City Council and served there with distinction for 15 years before coming on to serve here in the House of Representatives. As I mentioned before, the neighborhood that this post office is, is located in, if you took a dart and threw it at the map of New York City, and you hit bullseye, you would be right in Woodside, Queens, New York. As I mentioned before, a community that is known for its Irish American community and one of the still largest concentrations of Irish American immigrants in our nation today. Woodside is also my hometown, my home neighborhood. It's also very diverse. A multi it's a, it's a multi-ethnic neighborhood and an ever-changing part of my district, as it was for Tom Manton. And is often the first stop for new immigrants to our great country. While we may hear less Irish and Italian accents and more Turkish, Bengali, Hindi, and Spanish in local stores, the neighborhood of Woodside is as vibrant today as it was when I was a young child and as it was when Tom Manton served as its legislator. Naming this post office after Tom Manton 
again, the son of Irish, Irish immigrants, who rose to serve in these hallowed halls, is a perfect re reminder to that potential that exists for all immigrants and their children today in the United States. That it is as unlimited as it was for Tom Manton and as it was for his parents to see him become a member of Congress, as it is for my parents to have been here to see me become a member of Congress, and for previous generations. I, I want to thank all my colleagues again for their uh, expediting this legislation. Tom Manton was more than my predecessor. Uh, he was my counsel. He was my mentor. And more importantly, he was my friend. And for you to recognize him in this way and in such a manner uh, does uh, more in many respects to my own heart. Uh, and I really appreciate this again on behalf of the Manton family, in particular Diane Manton, his wife, and his children and his grandchildren, and the people of the 7th Congressional District, in particular Woodside, I thank this entire Congress uh, for its unanimous support uh, for renaming this post after, after Tom Manton. With that, I yield back to Mount.